good, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Dan Banks, a.k.a. DJ Fine CEO, JTU. We are Jersey Magazine and Jersey Diamonds, and I'm here with the homie, Chris Lennon. What's good, y'all? You already know, Chris Lennon in the building, just keeping it fresh. <laughs> but Thanks. let's get to know Chris Lennon, big upcoming artist in Jersey. This guy is a young cat, but he's doing big things in the game. Let's get to know Chris Lennon a little bit, man. So Chris Lennon, my brother. First of all, let's just start off with your name. Let's just start off there. Can we start off there? Yeah, yeah word. All right, so basically, I got my name off, uh, like, them Lysol cans. Uh, it'll say, like, that Chris Lennon scent. Yeah, under. yeah. So that's, like, like, I don't know, that's always been familiar to me, always been like at my grandparents' crib and shit like that. But um, like, so it's a couple things with that though. Like the first thing, the like money yeah. is 25% uh, cotton or, or wool or something like that. And it's 75% linen. Yeah. So I'm saying like, it's crisp money, it's new money, it's yeah, fresh, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Um, linen is, is also clothes, I'm saying like, I'd be fresh, I'd be dripping all the time. Fresh, clean, always, um, air out. <laughs> yeah, like, and with the, with the actual Lysol, I'm saying like, I'd be, I'm up in the air, like, like you know what I mean? Like, like we out here, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, like, that's dope. What made, you, what made you stick to that, man? Like the fact that you even came up with that concept, like, did you have to explain that in the past? That was just like, you know what? I'm gonna be Chris Lennon, but this is why. Uh, yeah, I feel that. Um, I feel like uh, I've definitely like, explained it to my boys, yeah. um, but, I've, I've changed the name like really briefly like for like three weeks yeah, I changed yeah. it to Young Vile yeah. like just on some on some shit but um no nah, like uh, I, I definitely stuck to the Chris Blinning cause like 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 people from my hometown were really familiar with that yeah. like as as my name so they were like yo I don't like that you changed your name like, yeah. go, like go back to Chris Blinning like, yeah. it's Chris Blinning like, that's what it's that's like what we know yeah. like we know you like that yeah. like, that's dope. Now, how do you apply this, this this vibe of Chris Lennon into your music? Um, I just, you know, what I mean, like for for the music, I'm trying to keep everything like fresh, like yeah, up to date, yeah, yeah. like that. But like also, like it sounds crisp. Like always in the studio, we talking about if it sounds crisp, and yeah. it's like, yeah, you know, like, what I mean, yeah. all, always is like kind of like a riding joke. Like, yeah. all right, but is it crisp? <laughs> is it crisp? Enough? Yeah, yeah. definitely. And how do you come up with the development of your sound to know that it is crisp? Like, do you have? Um, certain acoustics, is there a certain way that you have to vibe before you go into the studio? Uh, yeah, I mean, usually like fresh off the plant type shit, but um, okay, okay. like also we, we uh, acoustic treat the room, cause you know what I mean, you don't never want too much reverb, but um, my, my engineer really is like, like really familiar with my sound, so yeah, he's yeah. just like, you know what I mean, like he's got like uh, all these plugins, like little Alter Boy and all these other VSTs. I know his favorite's little Alter Boy, so yeah. that's why I'm shouting them out yeah. right now. But um, um, yeah. yeah, so he's just really familiar with my sound. So like, we'll we'll just we'll just know what we're doing like right before we get in there. And how is it um, picking an engineer and a producer that knows your sound? Like, how, like was it difficult to to find your sound, or was it something that you just already had and you just needed somebody to kind of help you um, branch out and bring it together? Yeah, actually, um, I feel like it was uh, not easy. Like, uh, it took a long time to really get there. Like, with exactly what I liked. Like, I definitely yeah. it wasn't hard like because like i just started trying different things i'm like okay like this is how this is going but like at the same time you can't like completely doubt yourself like all right like maybe that didn't work today but it might work tomorrow yeah so like i'm always very versatile in my music i'm always trying different things yeah. but um like with my main like developing sound it kind of just was like really like getting positive feedback yeah. we do it like everything like very feedback based and like people were like yo this is like, this is making me bump my head. Like, this is it, like, yeah, yeah. out of everything you're making. That Chris sound. Yeah. <laughs> and it started getting real crisp, like, at some point, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, like, my engineer, um, I mean, like, he's my boy, like, that's Bo, like, shout out Bo, you know what I mean? Fucking, um, he's just so familiar with, with what we do that it's just, you know what yeah. I mean? It's almost second like nature. Like, that's he's good. got, like, a chain for me. He's ready, like, before we even start recording, like, yeah, so he's just, just going to the studio, ready to go and just perform. That's good. That's dope, man. Tell me about this EP, man. Conversation Gunpoint. Like, this, how did you come up with that? Like, that's that's out now. That's okay. out. So, so Conversation yeah. Gunpoint is kind of um, uh, like this metaphor for like being in a position where someone's asking you these questions and you're not allowed to answer unless you're answering it their way. Like, they got you at gunpoint. Yeah. Like, uh, like you know what I mean, but like in a conversation, so you're you're just answering the way they'd like you to hear, and I'm trying to inhibit this like like, that, yeah, like yeah. the situation, yeah. you know what I mean? Like I'm saying like this is 
what it is like this is how I'm feeling like that like people put me in whether it's like a specific situation or like if the world's like putting me in this like they want me to be this they want me to do this look like this you know what I mean yeah. talk like this sound like this like and I'm just saying like like I'm at like I'm at gunpoint but at the same time I'm trying to say like like I'm gonna use this music that I, t I put the world at gunpoint like conversational yeah, yeah. gunpoint like now you can't tell me shit Still. And your sound is, is unique so you you would think first listen to it that it would have a hip hop vibe but then in reality you have this this rock vibe and everything that's where you could have like like we spoke about live instruments playing and you could be performing so how where does that come from where's that background of that punk rock or that afro rock however where does that come from uh where it comes from a lot of different artists because like i grew up listening to a lot of metal rock yeah. uh, punk rock like a lot of different things at the same time as hip-hop and i never really was like okay like today we're hanging out with our punk rock friends and listening to yeah. a punk like it was never like that like music is music you know what i mean so to me it's all like just like blending in my head as influence you know what i mean like uh so like you know what i mean to me music is music so it's all just coming together like yeah. um uh, you want me to name a couple artists? Absolutely. Uh, Fall in Reverse, Escape the Fate, um, uh, like Eminem, Lil, yeah. Lil Wayne, yeah. like like really Big Pun, um, Travis Scott, Gucci Mane, Kanye West, but like more on the punk and the metal, um, like uh, Five Finger Death Punch, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Pier Pierce the Veil even like when I was younger, like honestly don't listen to that. <laughs> um, but yeah, like. Like art like that, like the Now you have an interesting story. Let's back up a little bit, right? So let's talk about how you first started getting into the rap game. Like what made you just first start? Like, you know, right. Like I know you I remember you talk, telling me like you were spitting bars in school, right? Right. And then all of a sudden they were like, Wait, you can actually spit, like you like you ain't playing. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So what made you kinda be like, you know what, I'm gonna actually take this. <laughs> right. So it was a during a time Meek Mill and Drake were beefing. <laughs> and, <laughs> Classic, yeah. Uh, yeah, after that uh that back to back, that that hit different. So you know what I mean? Like these kids in my school they were dropping uh like diss tracks about one another just on some funny shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, That's yeah. A, too like mean but uh just on some funny shit and i was like all right like i'm in like this yeah. funny like you know what i mean yeah. and a couple people were like yo this is like actually like good like you know what i mean like i know you're recording off your phone and you're just doing some bullshit right yeah, now yeah. but like like you could actually rap yeah, exactly. you have potential. Just rapping in the iPhone. yeah just rapping in an iphone just like don't know a thing about engineering mixing, yeah. mixing or mastering but um yeah and i was getting good feedback and i'm like yo like you could actually like rap like out of like when I listen to this song like I get to your part and I'm like yo this is like this could actually be music mm. and I'm like oh where like I'll, I'll try that out yeah yeah that's dope man and now he has another EP dropping soon called Change the Channel where tell that's, me about that that's man. the next one so it's um what's it's a drop? different theme what's the drop um I don't exactly have a date I recorded a, a couple tracks on it yeah. from um at Loft Nine at Mood Studio so we gotta like figure that out when, definitely once we finish that up but um. It's like TV themed. It's like we're going through. Like I'm saying, like life is kind of like TV, and like you know, what I mean, this is like my my like you know, what I mean, programs yeah. like you know, what I mean, but like also like in life, like I'm trying to change the channel because like like what I see on TV isn't like what I like to see. Yeah. Like. Yeah, and we spoke about like you have an, an archive of music. Like you have your categories of music. Like you have your your new music. You have the. I gotta work on some stuff and I have that I'm definitely not gonna use that. So yeah. what is it like to just go through those transitions of what specifically works for which EP? Right. Um I feel like there's a lot of like um consideration. Like you gotta give yourself time. You can't like go in the studio, record something yeah. and like especially if it means a lot to you, record something and then you just drop it tomorrow. Yeah. Like I, I could never do that. Like I'll listen to it for a couple like weeks even and then see like like you know, what I mean, if for what it really is, yeah. like I, I like develop a relationship with like my songs and like some of the songs I'm like, all right, never gonna drop. Yeah. I'd say that's like maybe like one third of like the music I have, and then there's like one third music that I'm like, all right, this was good, this was really yeah. like, this is what we gotta work on. We'll like get that finished, mix and master, yeah. and then the last third is like what I currently work on. Yeah. How was it building up the confidence to perform, finally perform? Like you said, you perform at open mics and everything like that. So how is it like building up the confidence to actually perform your music to where it has that crisp sound? Yeah. But um, the confidence with that crisp that crisp sound to actually perform it in front of people. Uh, so uh, I've been told like I have a good stage presence, like, but honestly, like in my own head, like I'm really nervous like yeah. when I perform because yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. It's like really like my music can be like really emotional and personal to me. So I'm like yeah, yeah. I wonder what people 
are gonna think and I just think about it too much and like but once I get on stage it feels pretty different yeah. and like yeah people say like they cannot tell how nervous I am yeah. whatsoever so I'm like okay cool you know what I mean um but like with building up like the confidence I feel like uh, it's more about uh, it's like I, uh, yeah. I have to like just be like all right this is my space like this is where like now it's like like you know what I mean the tension's like all on me yeah like like and it's kind of like different because I'm not really too used to that, like, you know what I mean, growing up, like, I grew up, like, the first half of my life in Elizabeth, then I moved over to Woodbridge, and it was like, you know what I mean, it's not something flashy, like, you know what I mean, so, like, like having, like, attention solely given on you is like, you know what I mean, it's like, it can be overwhelming sometimes, yeah, absolutely. but that's what we gotta do. And now you're doing big things, like, you got your like, clothing line coming out and everything like that, tell me what it was like to actually see your, your name on, like, clothes, bags, like, how was that? Just yeah, like that's general. dope. Like, I mean, I just picked up the bags yesterday. Yeah, even, like, it, it's really, it feels really dope. But um, it's like, you know what I mean? I'm starting to see like my vision come to yeah, fruition. Yeah, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, like people like really rock with what I, what I got. Like, like yeah. yo, this is fresh. Like, you know what I mean? To the point where you're running out of sizes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, gotta, gotta do some research on like, like who's buying what sizes yeah, yeah. at this point. I'm like, damn, I like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm like, 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 cause like I know that people. I mean, I know I have support and whatever, yeah. but like with the merchandise, it's, it's like people like like showing their support. You know what I mean? Because like to me, it's not about the money. Like, yeah. like it's about like you know what I mean? Like, all right, like when they show up to wherever they have their boys' crib, it's like, yo, what's that bag? Like, I mean, what's going on, Chris? Yeah. It's like, oh, it's my boy making music. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like just knowing that there are those dialogues coming along like that, and like just seeing my name on different kind of products, I never thought I would. Like, I even have like. Lanyards, yo, know, like, so, I like that. Like, like, lanyards are dope. Yeah, like everything, yo. Know, I'm getting creative with it. I'm just trying to get more creative. What is it like being um, an art as an artist, having to just continue to do research? Like, how often do you find yourself just researching new things, new concepts? Right. Honestly, I've listened to so much more music than I used to. Like, I used to listen to like maybe the same like 30, 50 songs, yeah. like over and over again within a month or two months. And like now, I'm like, yo. What's hot right now? Like what's yeah, going on right yeah. now? You know what I mean? And I've heard a lot more music. I feel like I've started to realize like like it can be like really repetitive, but everyone has their own like yeah. spin on it. Like everyone's got a story and it's like wow, like like you think that there's like only a limited amount of words that we're using out here in our lyrics, but there's like like really it's like yeah. infinite words. Like every every day I'm like, wow, that was actually super new. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. it just inspires me. I'm like, word, I can I can make something different too yeah that's dope you heard it here first man chris lennon is in the building tell them how they can book you follow you everything brother. yeah so it's chris lennon booking at gmail.com to contact me uh chris underscore lennon on instagram we got change the channel coming out real soon uh should be before the end of october but i'll definitely release official dates on my instagram and all my social medias once that's uh getting there and yeah i mean we got the merc on deck we got all that you know what i'm saying most definitely. Chris Lennon, we are Jersey Magazine. Jersey turned out entertainment. Entertainment.